I just want to bring your attention to Euro Aussie on the weekly time frame. As you can see here, this week uh, just closed, has closed as a bearish pin bar reversal um, on this horizontal level of resistance. And this horizontal level of resistance is a horizontal level of resistance which hasn't been breached ever since 2010, convincingly. Okay, we had a spike up in 2015 um, in August, but it closed well and truly below it. So what is interesting about this one as well is the fact that we've got a Gartley harmonic pattern here. So if we drag our Fibonacci uh, from the start, from the high here to the bottom, we can see that we have last week's close as a bearish pin bar reversal, rejecting the level just shy of the 886. What's interesting as well is the B point here, A, B, C, D, in this A, B, C, D formation, uh, responds with the 50% Fibonacci retracement. But if you have no idea about Gartley's, don't care or don't want to know, that's absolutely fine because we can look at this as a potential sell opportunity based on our understanding and our appreciation of the ABCD pattern, where we've got a fantastic ABCD completion. Now, point D is typically the turning point, but what is interesting about this ABCD pattern is the fact that if we drag point B to point A, we have a rejection of the 1.618. Now, when we have that overlap of the 1.618 and the horizontal level here, um, that's pretty strong. I mean, we're at a multi-year high, a high which hasn't broken convincingly for about eight years, so it's more significant than you might think. And what is more as well is, apart from it just being um, a bearish pin bar reversal against a horizontal level of resistance at the ABCD D completion point. What is interesting about this one as well is the fact that we've got bearish reversal divergence here, um, specifically on the RSI setting six. There we go. We can see that we have from this point here on the weekly from um, December to January, we've made a higher high, but certainly if we look at the RSI setting six, we've got a lower high. Now that's a sign of changing in the winds between um, well buyers and sellers, and it looks like the strength of the buyers with the buyers is getting a little bit less pronounced. Um, what is interesting as well, <laughs> yeah, we do have even more evidence to suggest is is quite a good looking sell uh, based on our better understanding of reversals. Is, is the fact that we've got an A B C D pattern here, but nested inside this A B C D pattern, this big one from all the way from. Let me just zoom in for you which has formed all the way from uh, February 2017 to now, we have from the B point of the big ABCD pattern, we have a smaller one. So C to D, in that leg of the main one, we've got the smaller ABCD pattern. So this smaller ABCD pattern, we've got A, B, C, D. And if we drag our um, Fibonacci extension point to uh, point B to point A, of this ABCD pattern. So there we have it, we have the 1.272 extension coinciding with the bearish pin bar reversal on our second ABCD uh, formation when we're dragging point B to point A. That overlaps quite nicely with our main ABCD pattern, dragging it from point B to point A. There we go, let's see, there we have it, 1.618, we've got this Horizontal level of resistance. We've got bearish reversal divergence on the RSI setting six. And we've also got seasonality. Historically, the Australian dollar is very bullish at this time of year. That correlates with um, forecasted bullishness for gold, uh, first week of April on onwards. And this coincides with the Australian dollar and the euro by comparison is pretty sluggish. Okay, so how are we going to tread this? Well, typically we're just simply going to tread this as our standard entry. And this is going to be our entry just below this week's low. Stop loss above this week's high. It's gone or the low of the bearish pin bar reversal. So our entry is going to be with our stop loss above the high. And we're just going to leave it. Okay, we've got high profit potential for this trade. It's a reversal. It's high risk, I'd like to add. But what we'll do is we'll look to scale out as a one-to-one -one and just let it go. Okay, so that is the euro versus the Australian dollar. 